What is up guys? Um, finally back. I had a lot of issues with my Wi-Fi and it's finally sorted. So today I wanted to chat about order blocks and how to find them, how to trade them, how to use them. Um, because this is a very, very highly requested topic. Um, order blocks are a very big part of my trading. Obviously there's a lot more that goes into it. However, the base of everything more often than not comes out to be order blocks, right? Now, what is an order block? An order block is a place in the market where orders are blocked off by big institutions such as banks, um, hedge funds, etc, etc, right? Now, this is a place where we will be able to use as a supply or a demand zone. And you're going to see exactly how I find those now, okay? Now, obviously, demand is where you're going to be buying, supply is where we're going to be selling, okay? And also understand that as a retail trader, we are taught to buy and sell at the wrong places. We're taught to buy high and sell low, and that's not the whole point of trading. That's obviously how you're going to lose money, and that is why we have statistics such as 90% of retail traders losing money within their first three months. So I'm going to be teaching you how to use this and how to apply it in your own trading um, to, be, to be able to become more of an institutional trader. I say that in inverted commas because obviously we are retail traders. However, we need to trade with big institutions. Right, let's get into it now. First thing I wanted to say is we need to look for two things. We have a bearish order block and we have a bullish order block, right? Now, a bearish order block is going to be the last bullish candle before a strong push to the downside, okay? Now, how does that work? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at this section right here, okay? What we need to look for is the last bullish candle before a strong push to the downside okay this one as well last bullish candle before a strong push to the downside okay now why wouldn't we use this one okay as we can see we have created our contraction zone over here then we've gone into expansion before then obviously we start creating our trend okay that's just a contraction zone there now we have a look at this, this candle over here and this candle over here. That's not a strong push to the downside. We need to see, as retail would say, big engulfing candles and lots of momentum to the downside. So obviously with this being an hourly chart, we have three hours of consistent strong momentum to the downside. Okay. Hence, we would use this candle specifically as a supply zone or bearish order block right now how do we draw this let's have a look here we take we'll take our little rectangle and we will take it from the top of the wick of the candle right to the bottom of the wick of the candle now some people draw these as top of the wick to bottom of the body and more often than not that that, that does work out However, in my personal experience, I do find that using the full candle will benefit me more in the long run, especially when I start looking for imbalances, etc, etc. But that's for a later video. Right, now we'll draw this all the way across. Now let's see what price did over here. Okay, we can see price bounced off of there. As we said, strong push to the downside, price made its way all the way back up to there. Now, what we need to do is we need to find 50% of this order block like that. I've used that as the green line. Now, how will we trade this? We will do two things. We'll take our short position, right? And we can add our first entry on the top of the order or the bottom of the order block for that matter. Okay. And we can either have our stop loss below above these last highs or above these last highs right here okay and this is how you can begin to get introduced into the concept of entering with a lot better entries than normal now 
how how then would we be targeting right well we can look over here for this bullish order block now we can target all the way down there at the bottom of that order block let me actually just des describe a bullish order block for you so our bearish order block or supply zone is the last bullish candle before a strong push to the downside and a bullish order block is the last bearish candle let's grab this the last bearish candle before a strong push to the upside okay as we can see that full candle there is what we'd be using the reason we're not going to use this one specifically you can see price went up and then we came straight back down so that won't be the last candle before a strong push to the upside this one more than likely will be our better option to use for this scenario right so let's just go back now to this first entry on the top of the order block second entry this one doesn't necessarily always have to occur but again we can then begin looking at imbalances and liquidity etc etc right now as you can see we would have got two very nice entries here one with a three to one risk to reward ratio and one to a, and then a five to one risk to reward ratio now already those are two very good risk to rewards and slowly but surely this can actually be refined but as you can see all we've done is we've targeted this previous bullish order block okay now another way you can do this is actually trail your um stop loss so once you've seen it go and create a swing high over here you can maybe move your stop loss to here and continue to let it run and just follow your stop loss all the way down so you would do something like this right prices move further cool cool and then we would probably get stopped out there so all that we've done then is we've turned a one to three risk to reward ratio trade now into a one to four and a one to eight now those are as i say brilliant risk to reward trades right now let's 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 have a look at another example okay so now we're going to look at a bullish order block let's have a look so we can see over here price has moved down gone it's grabbed a little bit of liquidity up there maybe potentially broken a little bit of structure on these candles over here now as we can see price has pushed down created our last bearish candle before a strong push to the upside right you can see there was no yes there was a lot of wicks but you, you don't even need to worry about wicks we just look for some momentum so then we would just decide to select this candle right here okay so let's go ahead and do that now we go we draw it from the top of the wick all the way to the bottom of the wick cool let's go all the way across now as you can see in this scenario okay what you can always do obviously go take your 50 percent of the order block right once that's drawn in now we go we can go and set our buy limits right here's our first buy limit at the top of the order block and our second buy limit will be at the middle of the order block in this example obviously we haven't been uh, introduced into the market with the second entry however our first entry did get in now how again how do we target this now there's a few ways you can look at it you can again as i say we trail your stop loss but if you understand liquidity you'll understand why you will get stopped out more often than not however let's have a look up here there's a nice little bearish order block let me just make it a bit bigger for you guys right over here nice bearish order block that we can potentially target remember last bullish candle before a strong push to the downside cool let's go ahead and target that order block over there cool now we have a one to five risk to reward trade now we've taken two trades in a row and we've had one being a one to four and one being a one to five that's just entering on the top of the order block so if you're risking one percent of your account you are already up nine percent on your account in just two trades like no bank or no institution will give that to you in a year so you have just gone and completed what a bank wouldn't even be able to do in a whole year for you just from trading order blocks again there's so much more to this however just understanding how to find an order block and trade the order block is going to help you immensely in your trading okay <clears throat> now 
This is not specific to one time frame. This can be used on any time frame there is. Another thing that's not normally made clear in a lot of these videos is a higher time frame order block will be respected a lot better than any other time frame. So let's go have a look on a daily chart. Let's see what's happening here. Okay. Cool. Now let's have a look at this. All right, so let's just look where current price is, okay? Now, again, what do we look for? The last bullish candle before a strong push to the downside, okay? Uh, would you agree that that is it there? Cool. Obviously not that one or that one because we have a shift in momentum between those two candles. So what do we do? We go right ahead. We take the top of the wick to the bottom of the wick and we can draw that right across now what what a lot of people don't necessarily understand is that sometimes having your order block right on top of the order block or even just over here will not always keep you out of the woods and this is where i say imbalances and liquidity play a very big role in deciding where you're going to be entering into the market okay However, let's just use this as obviously our example, come right across, draw 50% of our order block. Cool, we've seen price push down very nicely. What do we do? We go right ahead, grab our sell limits. We have put our sell limit down like this and have our stop loss just above these highs. Now, second entry we would have on the 50% of the order block, same place for our stop loss. Now let's look where we can target. Cool. Okay. So we can potentially look at this down candle before a strong push to the upside. We can even be looking even further down, obviously for a massive swing trade being the daily chart. Now this is going to all come down to what kind of trader you are. Again, you can use this on the one minute, five minute, 15, whatever. So let's say, for example, we would like to target all the way down here. Great. That's already a one to five risk to reward trade. We, it would currently obviously be in some drawdown, which is not a problem at all. Obviously, if you enter on the 50% as well, that trade would be currently sitting around break even. Now, we'd obviously just have to see how this trade plays out through the week, maybe the next two weeks, depending on how long it does take to get down there. As you can see though, this is a bit of a downtrend. We have not necessarily broken structure as yet. No, not at all. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the base of order blocks and uh, how, how to trade order blocks. So um, if you guys have any questions on how to use them, DM me on Instagram, DM me on, um, or drop me a comment down below on WhatsApp. I'm always free to have a chat. But um, yeah, I'm... I'm hoping you guys find some good results with order blocks. And uh, if you guys have any other suggestions on videos you'd like to see, um, I'd also appreciate you dropping a comment down below. That would be greatly appreciated. And if, if you did enjoy it, please smash the like button. But um, yeah, seeing as though that my Wi-Fi is sorted now, I will be coming to you guys with a lot more videos throughout the week. I try and post at least once a week, mainly on Sundays. But uh, yeah, peace guys.